That's right guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, in this video, I'm not out riding as it happens, because I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it's raining, trust me. So today I'm just uh, swapping over a few parts while the weather's bad and we can't, uh, we can't actually get out. So I'm just gonna swap over a few bits and pieces because uh, do a bit of maintenance while the weather's bad. So I'll just grab the other bike and I'll be back. So we'll just put, I'll just get this on the stand. And no, it's not, it's not carbon fibre. <laughs> Otherwise I wouldn't be clamping it on the top tube like that. Um, so yeah, today I'm just swapping a few bits over. So uh, to start with, I'd like to say thanks for commenting, people that did on some of the ride videos I've been doing lately. Just showing you, you know, just showing you the, the sights, if you know what I mean, and the scenery. That's what it's about, really. Riding bikes, you can get out and enjoy. You enjoy your local area or further afield or whatever. Um, so that's part of the fun of riding a bike is getting out and enjoying the enjoying the scenery. I'll just get this. Uh, I'll just get this chain off of here. made the mistake of oiling it up <laughs> thinking I was actually going to go out but with the weather has been lately it's just unbelievable really the time of year I mean it is really it is really annoying but what can you do about it not a lot so there's the old chain anyway due replacement that is I've been, uh, it's been on there a while in the winter and everything. It's worn now, so definitely, definitely due replacing. So, um, but what I've got to do is, uh, while I'm doing it, I've actually got a, um, I've actually got a, I need to put a new cassette on it as well because that cassette's worn with the chain. They both worn together, so. Uh, if I put a new chain on it, I just know that it's going to be skipping um, or slipping on certain gears that you use the most. It's bound to be uh, you're bound to get a bit of slippage on it. So um, I've got another I've got another wheel there with a almost brand new um, cassette on that one, so I can just use that. Um, I can use that cassette on the uh, on the old uh, winter road bike there. So I want to uh, swap that over, but also I want to, I'll be changing the um, changing the uh, bottom bracket on it on this. So uh, it's a 105 I've got in there at the minute. It's been in there for uh, not that long, but uh, probably about a year. But um, I'm going to swap that out as well while I, while I've got the time and while the weather's bad. So. I just need to get the Allen keys. Never got it all to hand when you need it. Look. So, we'll crack on and loosen this off and come back to it when I've got this off. Right, so I've got the uh, chain set removed. Anyway, and then we just uh, go ahead and um, take out the uh, take out the bottom bracket. Like I said, this one just happens to be a, uh, a 105. It's in here at the moment. I'm swapping it out. 
for uh, the Dura Ice one. Mainly because mainly because I've got one in stock. So I can just go ahead and put one in here and use that. Instead of uh, no point in, no point in purchasing another 105. You can see, look at the amount, it's amazing. Look at the water that's coming out of there. That's amazing. See, you wash your bike, it might look shiny on the outside, but all you're doing really is you're carrying water around with you. And, and uh, I'll grab the camera and show you that, just because it's interesting. Right, so. Look at the water that's just come out on the floor there, out of that bottom bracket. That's the sum of probably how wet it's been, just riding and obviously keeping keeping your bike clean. But as you can see in there, the water's in there. Now and I, I tip the bike up to get rid of that because obviously in the uh, in the stays it's got drain holes. So if you stand it up on end. It comes out the water comes out the drain holes anyway so i do that after you wash it and then it helps get rid of the water that collects in there or take your seat post out and turn it upside down to get rid of water if you haven't got any drain holes like say carbon bikes or whatever this is aluminium so it's got the drain holes in the back but still even so the amount of the water that collects in in parts hence why if you don't grease stuff then it sees it in there. Right guys, I just thought I'd show you these two cassettes, both 105, 11 speed, 5800s. Obviously this is the uh, one I'm swapping out, the warm one, I'm swapping in for a one that's done a lot less miles, like I said earlier. But I just thought I'd show you the difference in them. Um, see that? I'll try and focus on it for you. See that tooth there, for instance, on the fourth, fourth one down from the top there. There's a piece of metal sticking up out of here where it's worn, where it's ramped up on that side. You just see it there. The screwdriver hits against it. Just there. But it's just the shape of the teeth in comparison. Um, to the, to the not not so warm one example is that tooth there I'll just show you where are we that one there how it's ramped up and it's not it's only as wide as a screwdriver or not even as wide as a screwdriver there so this this shape here just got extended because that tooth there is worn. So if I put an, uh, a brand new chain on this cassette, this is the one here in particular, it'll be slipping as soon as you load it up, going up here or accelerating, it slip that tooth there. You can pair that one there to this one. Like this one there. It's not. It's not so. It's nowhere near as thin. Still got the shape to it. Whereas some of the other ones, they've just lost their shape in comparison. Like that one there, for instance. How thin, how thin that's gone, where it's worn. So that one would definitely be slipping compared to this cassette teeth are just a lot crisper than the warm one the warm one some of them teeth are so so worn there where the gap where like I said what happens is the distance between there and there gets greater it just wears wears the metal away obviously it's wearing on the back side of the cassette when it's going round the chains on the loaded on the back side but how it takes off the metal off of there over time and your chain wears with that so normally you can you know do a couple of chains before you have to do a cassette 
but only if you look after it. If you leave it too long then you have to do a, a cassette change. Obviously this cassette's gone through a few times now, so I know by, it's just going to slip if I put a new chain on, so that's why I'm going for a, a, a one that's done a lot less miles on there. So I'll put that on. So right, there's the uh, bottom bracket installed and the uh, that cassette put on. So I'm just going to go on ahead and just put a new chain on it. The old chain there and that's just a, a Duracell 9000 chain. So we go ahead and get this opened up. Obviously we need to shorten it. These are 116 links out of the packet, so we'll have to take a few out of it, I expect. Right, so there we have it. It's just uh, taken three links out of it there. Just get it back down to the uh, the right length. Go ahead and put that back on. Right, so there's the chain back on. Right guys, here's the old bottom bracket. You can see that behind your crank arm, the amount of dirt that's accumulating that you don't see. So if you take it off and clean it regular, it just helps it. All that dirt there is going in. Obviously the inside of that spins like that. So that's going round when you're pedalling. But it's interesting to note this is the non-drive side and it still spins nice and freely and this one is the drive side so where the chain rings are and this one is much tighter to turn in comparison to this one that one still spins nice so obviously that side's got the load going on it more of the chain So right guys, that was just a quick video for you, just a couple of maintenance bits and pieces there. Um, I say subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, um, until the next video, ride safe and I'll see you on that one.